Oh, he just wants to play, play, play. Hello, hello. Come here. How are you all doing today? Good, good. how are you? What's wrong, bro? I'll tell you what, Paul. Well, while I talk, you want to walk out with him? Yeah. Okay. He just going to go take you for a walk. There you go. Then we'll talk here. We've had Gus about three years. We got him when he was four months old. He's awesome. He's been the best dog I've ever owned. We don't have any kids, so Gus is our baby. So we baby him just like anyone else would baby their kid. He's just my best bud and also a great security system. What's going on here? So the last couple of months, we've noticed he's been sitting lazy, laying down, kind of different. Uh -huh. And we noticed on tile floors, he's real, okay. like, unstable. First, we kind of saw like, it was like his leg was falling asleep because it'd be like after uh, activity and then he'd lay down. Okay. And then it was kind of just like this limp. A little limp on it, okay. Right or left rear? He limps on both sides. Uh, yeah. The right was kind of worse. They're yeah. kind of both. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is check him out while I got him back. He'll probably do a little better away from you because he's kind of protected. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if that works good. And then I'll come back in and go with the results with you, okay. Okay? okay? So just hold tight right here for a second. All right. Sounds okay. good. All right. A lot of time, if you hear that there's lameness for more than a couple of weeks, you know, a month, you know there's something that's very serious going on. What you feeling for, Doc? I'm trying to see if I can get a draw sign. ACL? ACL, yes. Mm -hmm. We may have some ACL issues. To rule in or rule out an ACL or anterior cruciate ligament injury, I do a test called a tibial drawer test. And I'm trying to push the tibia forward. And if I can move it forward, that tells me that that ligament is torn. Because if it's not torn, that knee should be stable. And you see where that movement there? I shouldn't be getting movement. And if it were relaxed, I would get even more. He actually, they're torn on both sides. Mm. The right side is the one he's lame on now, so that's the probably the one that we'll repair first. I won't do both of them at the same time. Because he's so big? Yeah, and he just don't want him down on both legs, and he won't get up, and he get atrophy everywhere in the rear end. I would hate to have him both yeah, of mine done. Right. All right, we'll let him up, and I'm going to talk to him before we bring him back in. I have a positive tibial drawer test on both sides, so I know I have a partial tear on the left side, as well as a completely torn ACL on the right side. All right. We definitely got a tear on both hind limbs. It's the reason that it's causing discomfort, okay? Okay. So unfortunately, we're going to have to have surgery. Object here is to stabilize the joint. Now, doing an ACL repair, it's not like we go another day and it's going to be running around next week. It's going to be a process. Yeah. And this process is going to take weeks, even months of us working and doing therapy to get back up. And then once we get that one kind of stable, we got to start it all over again and do the other ACL in about four months. Okay. I'm sorry, but it is what it is, I guess, at this point. Yeah. All right, so we'll give you a call as soon as we get out of surgery. Okay. Yes, okay? All right. Thank you all. Thank you. We're definitely worried about it. I wanted to cry before I got here, and I'll probably cry when I leave, but whatever needs to get Gus back to 100%, we're gonna do. All right, Gus, time to go to sleep.